is matter and the matter consists of three states that is solid, liquid and gaseous state. Now let us learn, is matter around us is pure? That means, for example, take we will be getting a packet of milk, a packet of ghee and a packet of salt. All the salt, ghee, milk, is this or pure? They will be writing that pure ghee, pure milk and iodized salt and all. But all these are pure or not? All these substances are very pure, are made up of only one substance, of made up of only one particles? No, because the, according to scientists, pure means it, will, it should be constituted or made up of single particles. That means the particles should have same chemical properties. While comparing to common man, pure means no adulteration. That means having a pure heart sense, right? But while coming to a scientist about the materials or about the matter, whatever is present around the surroundings, that is not of pure. That means it is mixed. That means it is a mixture of allegations. That means it is constituted of different types of substance. That is, a key consists of many substances, many particles of different chemical properties and physical properties. At the same time, when we take uh, milk or ghee or salt, anything, it is a mixture of some substances and some particles. And coming to pure, according to scientists, I said it should have same chemical nature. Pure means same chemical nature and single type of particles and single form of matter. Pure according to the sense of scientists, a pure matter consists of same chemical nature, single type of particles and same form of matter. And while coming to scientists, the mixture is a mixture of different substances is known as a composition. Now let us see some examples that is sodium chloride sugar and sodium chloride further cannot be divided into different substances right it is a one substance one basic substance and sugar also cannot be further divided into another substance it is a single crystal substance right and these two are known as a good examples of pure matter and they have the same composition it has the same composition of sodium chloride and it has this composition of sugar of sugar molecules and later we will take soft drinks, soil and sea water, minerals all these are the examples of mixtures means having different compositions, different types of particles and different types of chemical properties now let us see one more example that is sodium chloride if sodium chloride is dissolved in water we can be getting easily sodium chloride. We can separate water from sodium chloride, right? By the process of evaporation. And thus we are getting sodium chloride from water. But the, again sodium chloride cannot be divided into further. So this is known as pure matter or pure substance. At the same time, the definition or define how we will be defining mixture is it is more than one substance. Composition of different substances is known as mixture and having same characteristics, properties and more than one substance is known as mixture and mixture are constituted by more than one kind of pure form of matter and known as substance. Again I repeat the definition of mixture. Mixture are constituted by more than one kind of pure form of matter that is known as substance. Different types of substances which are mixed up is known as mixture. And let us see a substance. What is a substance? A substance cannot be separated into other kinds of matter by any physical process. The definition here goes a substance further cannot be divided into any other matter under physical process that is known as basic substance which cannot be divided further than is sodium chloride sugar right or the mixture of uh, some different substances like the soft drink it is mixture of uh, sugar water and all right that is known as mixture now i hope you understood the difference between a substance and a mixture mixture is a kind having two or more than substances 
substance means a single basic matter. Previously we have seen different types of mixtures that is heterogeneous mixtures and homogeneous mixtures. Now let us see what is a solution. A solution consists of a homogeneous mixture of two or more substances. A solution consists of homogeneous substances of two or more forms that is for example take lemonade and soda water. Soda water consists of some liquid, some lemon, some juice and all. All these are mixtures of two or more substances right and at the same time let us take a solution. Uh, we will believe or we will assume that a solution is a consists of solid or liquid or water is dissolved in it right. See gaseous uh, solution means soda water or liquid means a lemon water or solid means that sugar is dissolved in water. All these are assumptions what we feel that what is a solution is. But rather than those solutions we have another solutions also that are known as solid solutions and gaseous solutions. That is solid solutions means the solid is mixed up with solid only. Here generally a solution we believe that any solid liquid gas will be mixed up with liquid but a solid solution is the mixture or is an alloy is a mixture of different types of solids and a gaseous solution is also a mixture of different types of gases only that is a best example of is air in our atmosphere and solid solutions are different types of alloys and the best example and best alloy is brass. A brass is a mixture of 30% zinc and 70% copper. 30% zinc and 70% copper constitutes of a mixture of an alloy. It is known as brass. It is a very important bit. Brass is an alloy. It is not a metal. Okay. And now we will see iodine. Iodine in alcohol. It is also a different type of solution, right? Iodine is solid and alcohol is liquid. It is one type of solution and in this we will be seeing that a solution consists of two components that is solvent and solute. That is solution has two components that is solute and solvent as its components. The water dissolved in larger amount that means Hey, suppose take one example like sugar is dissolved in water, right? Sugar is in lesser quantity and water is in larger quantity. Therefore, water with larger amount is known as solvent and sugar with lesser quantity is known as solute. The lesser quantity is known as solute which will be dissolved in a solution is known as sol solute and which is dissolves, dissolves is known as solvent. Water is sol solvent and sugar is solute. I hope you understood the difference between solvent and solute in a substance. Right? The solution consists of both solvent and solute. One go good example is sugar water or lemon water or uh, iodine in alcohol. Iodine in alcohol is known as tincture of iodine. Tincture of iodine means iodine will be in lesser quantity. Therefore, iodine is known as solute and alcohol is in larger quantity and it will be known as solvent therefore it will be known as tincture of iodine now let us see the properties of a solution now see a solution is a homogeneous mixture of more than one or two substances and let us see the particles in it a solution consists of many particles which are lesser or smaller than one nanometer size and therefore there will be a scattering and the light can which is traveling through the particles is not visible to our naked eye. Therefore, the path of the light is not visible in solutions. This is a major property of a solution. The path of the light is not visible in solutions. And at the same time, the solute particles, the lesser quantity particles in a solution are known as solute. And those solute particles cannot be separated from the mixture by the process of filtration because the solute particles for example take salt water or sugar water the sugar is dissolved in the water and therefore we cannot be, we separate that so sugar particles from the water by the process of filtration therefore it is known as the solute particles cannot be separated and the third point is solution is stable because the solute particles can 
cannot be settled down in the solution. They are mixed up or dissolved in the solution. Therefore, a solution is a stable solution. The three properties of a solution are the light which is traveling through the solution is not visible and the solution is stable and the solute particles are in dissolved form and they cannot be separated by the process of filtration. Now let us see the concentration of a solution. The concentration of a solution is said by the two, two matters that is dilute, concentration, dilute solution or concentrated solution. Dilute solution means the solute in a solvent is in lesser quantity that is if it is one spoon of sugar in water is known as dilute solution if for example 10 spoons of sugar in 50 ml of water is a concentrated solution means the quantity or the lesser quantity solute is in higher amount then it is known as concentrated solution the two various types of solutions are dilute solution and concentrated solution it is based upon the solute what we added in the solution. And next the concentration of the solution can be derived in the best formula that is amount of solute that is amount of quantity what we infer that is solute in the solution or the amount of solute in the solvent is known as concentration of solution. How much amount we will be adding the solute in a solvent is known as the concentration of solution. Thank you.